So one of the days I've been waiting for has finally arrived. Do you like my new rack design? No front legs. Here's the front door. That's how it turned out. G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, we're gonna be heading over to my cousin Adam's house and seeing the progress he's made on his brand new fish room build. So let's get into this week's video. Tiling's finished, fully done, grouted and everything. So far, it's only first undercoat. I've got to finish painting and doing timber work and put doors on. And then we will be ready to start building stands. Put the skirtings on, but I was a couple short, so I need half piece for there, the other half there, full length there, and half a piece on top. So I've got to buy two pieces, two, three pieces. Here, yeah, so I just finished putting all the skirting that I did have on. So I've got to gap it and um, punch the nail heads in and then fill them. But yeah, pretty happy with how it looks now that you can't see the gaps around the jip rock. And as you can see the spark, you put all the plugs in, put the window frame on. So you've got to gap it. Uh, all power points are in and aircon is up. So yeah, next major thing is I've got to get the doors. Doors, cut them, hang them, tidy up painting where it's needed. It's coming together. So Sparky, obviously connected everything, the lights are on. So I painted the door frame. All the skirting is on, painted, patched the holes, siliconed. All I'm missing is the couple lengths that we couldn't get when we bought it. So yeah, I need to cross there and finish around the door here. Here's my nifty panel, power, lights, power points, power points, hot water off, obviously, aircon circuit. Yeah, here's the room, that's what it looks like. So in here is done in this room. I touched up the ceiling or it had to be touched up. All the skirting, frames, everything is done. So window, just have to get, I'm gonna get plantation shutters installed there. That's the front door, the external door. Nice kind of old school antique pattern. Um, yeah, aircon and power points galore. Door frame, so this is the door for here, for the fish room. Um, I ran out of this white gloss paint, which is why I haven't finished painting it. And also that one, that's the bathroom door. I ain't going to Bunnings. Every Bunnings around me has a COVID case visit. So, and they won't deliver it in the paint, unfortunately. So I'll be waiting. But yeah, bathroom, I just put, um, I did another coat on the ceiling and then I cut, painted and fit the quad. Um, so I've got to punch the holes in, silicon it all in, and then do one more coat on the ceiling, I think, just to finish it off. And then put that window in. So I'm actually not going to worry about making it a open a window that can open and close. I'm just going to fit it in there. It's just going to be a fixed pane because that fan I got is actually very, very powerful. Um, and it's plenty for in here. So yeah, man, nearly done. Put that in, paint it, hang the doors up, paint, finish painting the doors and hang them. And that's it. So here's the front door. That's how it turned out. Need to paint around the window in there. Put this door on. I'll put that door on. Yeah. And obviously I need those pieces of skirting. I'm gonna have them in time soon though. So this is how you know, I wanna lay out. So that white frame, that's gonna be where the central rack is. So three foot, three foot, three high and three high. And then the other side the same. So another three foot, three foot, three high. So 12, three foot is there. Um, 
that's where I'm going to put what's not exactly going to be six foot anymore. Um, so it's going to be 45 centimeters front to back. And yeah, I don't know, about 165 centimeters. And I'm going to try and make it three high. So I have to work out the exact height of the tanks, but it should be fine. So that's exactly, that's how far it'll stick out. Um, so yeah, it's comfortable. I just didn't want to make that two foot because then it'll come out to like here. Um, I want it to be comfortable. And then that, that's three foot. So that's going to be, um, there's tanks. I'm going to have three of them. They're three foot, but only one foot front to back and then one foot high. Um, again, I'm only making them one foot front to back to make heat comfortable. I didn't want it too tight. And then the current black tanks that are in use over there, that's where they're going to line up in line with the box and the paint tray. And they should finish there. So we'll have this space here, which is good. So it's not right up against the window. And I'll probably put some really narrow shelves here for storage. So yeah, I put in my inquiry for the timber yesterday because it seems like there's a timber shortage. So I couldn't actually order it and pay. I had to inquire about it. Who knows what the situation is, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting the timber just so I can start building these racks um, to keep me occupied, to be honest. After working from home all day, I don't really want to stay inside and just watch TV or do some other thing on a screen all day, so. But yeah, so that's how the entrance came. I obviously want to get a security door put in front of it, but yeah. And so this is where I was considering getting the drain pipe to come out when I was saying through the wall, like here. So that's 50 mil drain pipe. So yeah, what I'd do is I start running it under this rack and you know I'll have actually maybe I'll have two T's one T there one T there so for this side that side across and I'll probably branch out and have a T here and a T here so these three and those three can drop in and there under the window under those racks along that wall behind that rack and the same then under this rack have a T here, so those three tanks can drain T. And then elbow out that way, so cut a hole in the wall. Shove it through there. And then, yeah, come out here. And then that's where I need, you know, like that connection, the cam lock thing you said. Yeah, so I want it here. So that way when I want to do a water change, I can just connect the hose here. And then tip the hose into the drain, floor drain shower drain or even outside if i wanted to um but yeah i didn't want to have something permanent obviously i wanted to be able to connect disconnect easily um so yeah that's the that's the plan i think so that is 50 mil pipe and so 50 mil pipe does fit there but it is a bit big so i probably get something smaller so one of the days i've been waiting for has finally arrived i got timber delivered to start building the stands these are set aside they're all the uprights i need for all the legs these six lengths I got here are for all the noggins and so are all of these off cuts. So what I did first was I cut all the long um, pieces for all the shelves. So six lengths there for three shelves from the back. Um, yeah, that's 12 shelves there, 12 three foot shelves, so 24 lengths. That's three three foot shells. Um, yeah, so now it's just time for me to cut all the like the end short ends and then center braces for all the shelves. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, it's one day work on the stands. So I made four shelves, three foot shelves here, and the rest of the pieces are cut. Just gotta assemble it. Same here, five foot shelf. Put one together. And then there's that really small three foot rack. So I've just laid them out in the positions they're gonna be, just to check like walkway width, etc. And 
yeah, it's, I'm happy with it. So this is like 75 ish centimeter gap here. Um, and then the same here, also 75. And then here is actually a little bit wider. So pending on how it'll look being brought a bit this way in front of the window, I might move this over to even these aisles up. Um, but yeah, we'll see once they're upright. Do you like my new rack design? No front legs? Okay. So back legs, all the stands that are up against the wall, have the back up against the wall like this one and then the five foot one over here, um, I've offset the legs. So I've pushed the legs this way so that I can get the drain pipe running like up against the wall. Because if I put the legs at the back of the shelf, like we did with yours and my old ones, then I'd have to have the stand sticking out off the wall so the drain pipe could get behind it. So that's what I did. So now a little tuck in underneath. Yeah, so that's the real narrow um, three foot tank shelf. So I've left the back legs long on purpose. I'm gonna leave the back legs long on all of the racks. Uh, well, maybe not all of them on the central rack. Um, so that my air circuit, airline circuit can go around um, and hang off them so I don't have to actually screw it to the ceiling or hang it from the ceiling so yeah so all my shells are all put together now that's the first rack that I started putting together so I just need to cut the front legs and put it on that one and then it's ready for ply party paint yeah so there's all my legs left so yeah it's good Excited to finally see one in here. Okay, all the stands have been assembled. Four three foot racks, another three foot rack really narrow, and one five foot rack. So I've left the back legs on them long on purpose because I plan to run my airline circuit on top of all of them. So I'll sit it on top of that and run around the room. So space in the aisle here is 75 centimeters. Between here is a little bit narrower. It's like 71 or 72. Um, where the white is, that's where my black rack that I'm currently using, the front of that will be. So again, it's actually wider here. It's about 80 centimeter. Uh, yeah. And I'm gonna go around and putty all the screw heads, nail heads, etc. Let it dry, ready for sand and black paint. Okay, started putting the PVC drain line together. So this T, these three tanks will drain into it. Runs back behind the rack. Corner here, this T is for these three narrow tanks. Continues to go behind along the wall. This T will be for the three two footers on this side. Runs behind it. One of those T's will be for the three other three two footers on this side. The other one for the two footers this side. Behind this rack is only a three footer. So the actual rack is four footer to finish here. These three will go into that T under the window. And we'll have a T here for these three three footers. Runs down the middle, that tees for the three three footers on this side, so then that one goes down the middle, comes down, splits with a T, comes to here. So I ran out of PVC, but that's gonna come here. This elbow is gonna be pointing up for the three tanks here, and same as this, so this is gonna point up. Yeah, up. Yeah, up here. Like that. So finish nice and neat. I'll probably put a little like couple little pieces of PVC here to extend the height on these so the hoses will sit in nicely. So there you have it guys, Adam's progress on his brand new fish room build. I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment and consider subscribing to the channel. I really would appreciate it. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up now. Thanks heaps for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.